The Hum Rider is a promotional vehicle created by the marketing team at Verizon Telematics. The Hum Rider is essentially a modified SUV that can extend its chassis and raise its height, allowing it to drive over traffic congestion. The Hum Rider features a hydraulic system that raises the vehicle by about 9 feet, giving it enough clearance to drive over cars in its path. The system operates at the push of a button, and once the vehicle is raised, it can continue to drive over the traffic at a slow speed. The vehicle is based on a Jeep Grand Cherokee platform. The Hum Rider was designed to showcase the company's technological capabilities and creativity rather than being a practical solution for everyday traffic congestion. Ever dreamed of a real, life-sized transformer in your garage? The Turkish startup Latrons now offers you exactly that. Their animatronic Autobot drives like a car, transforms like a transformer, and supposedly fights off space threats with its built-in smoke machine and sound effects. Latrons' transformer seems to be built upon a Bebu in 92 coupe chassis. According to the company, the beast is packed with powerful hydraulics and servo motors, allowing it to transform and move fast. Sensors all around the chassis give it some interactivity and prevent it from crushing innocent bystanders when in remote control mode. Interestingly, its movable arms aren't attached to the body, but to its extendable side wings and feature hands with actuated wrists and fingers. The Autobot also can move its head, which pops right out of the hood. Klaassen Limousine is a company that specializes in the customization and conversion of luxury vehicles into high-end limousines. They are known for their expertise in transforming standard vehicles such as Mercedes, Benz, Range Rover, and Cadillac into luxurious limousines with various amenities and features. Klaassen Limousine offers a range of services, including interior customization, exterior modifications, advanced technology integration, and additional security features. Their limousines are often equipped with luxurious leather seating, entertainment systems, mini bars, privacy partitions, and state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment. The company caters to a high-end clientele, including business executives, celebrities, and dignitaries who require exclusive transportation solutions. Klassen Limousine prides itself on delivering exceptional craftsmanship, attention to detail, and personalized service to meet the unique requirements and preferences of their clients. Kia Motors, a South Korean automobile manufacturer, has collaborated with the Transformers franchise in the past to create special edition vehicles inspired by the iconic characters. One notable collaboration was the Kia Soul Optimus Prime Edition, which was based on the Autobot leader Optimus Prime. The Kia Soul Optimus Prime Edition featured a custom paint job with red and blue accents, reminiscent of Optimus Prime's colors. The vehicle also had unique badges, special alloy wheels, and interior enhancements to reflect the Transformers theme. While these special edition vehicles don't possess any transforming abilities like the fictional Transformers, they are designed to pay homage to the popular franchise. XC Meeg, official E-Tone 110 Mini Mobile Walking Excavator. E-Tone 110 Walking Excavator is a kind of all-terrain and multi-purpose walking excavator which is completely used in plateau and plain areas. It uses a wheeled driving walking chassis which is composed of wheeled driving and walking movement. It can go to the places where other mechanical equipment such as gully, swamp, plateau, high and cold cannot go. It can carry out excavation, lifting, crushing, drilling, pile planting, and other engineering operations. Unique in terms of comfort and cross-country ability, the camping off-road vehicle based on Land Rover. Today, car camping is gaining more and more popularity. People leave the city in their own car in a remote area and live in a car. Land Rover's Wild Fennec is perfect for those trips. Its concept is extremely simple. The back of the Land Rover, with a long wheelbase, was converted into a living compartment, thanks to which it turned into a real motor home. Wild Fennec justifies the proud title of car for the conquest of nature, which Land Rover deservedly awarded. The wheelbase of three meters makes the car quite large and roomy, but at the same time it is much more maneuverable than other bus-like models. Have you ever been riding along and got stuck behind a lot of traffic? That's where a flying motorcycle would come in handy. Well, now there's the Lazarus LMV 496 La Moto Volante, which is the flying motorcycle in French. It's a bike that can transform from a motorcycle into a flying vehicle. 
The jets need about 60 seconds to heat up before launch. At the moment, the bike only gets a few feet off the ground. The company doesn't have a completely functioning machine as of yet. They just recently did a test run that allowed the bike to hover at one meter above a platform. Lazarus tethered down the machine for safety. According to New Atlas, the company plans to start accepting pre-orders after a showcase of the product in October of this year. Pre-orders won't go cheap. The company plans to ask for about $560,000. Only the super rich will be able to afford La Moto Volante. The BMW Gina concept, developed in 2008, was an innovative car with a flexible fabric skin made of spandex. Its shape could be changed dynamically, offering aerodynamic efficiency and customizable design. The interior featured a minimalistic cockpit with concealed controls. While not intended for production, the Gina concept showcased BMW's commitment to pushing automotive design boundaries and exploring new technologies. The Boerthrex is a luxury, expandable caravan designed and manufactured by the French company. The Boerthrex is built on a trailer chassis and can be towed behind a vehicle. When closed for travel, it has a sleek and aerodynamic exterior, measuring approximately 6 meters in length. However, when parked and expanded, it transforms into a spacious living area. The main feature of the Boer Threx is its expanding mechanism. At the push of a button, the caravan expands outwards, tripling its width. The sides of the caravan slide outwards, creating additional interior space, including a bedroom, a living area, and a kitchenette. The expansion process takes about 20 seconds to complete. Inside, the Boer Threx offers comfortable and modern amenities, including a double bed, seating area, dining table, kitchenette with a sink, stove, and refrigerator, as well as a bathroom with a toilet and shower. The interior is designed with attention to detail and high-quality finishes. The Cormoran Watercraft is a luxurious and innovative vessel that combines advanced technology with sleek design. The Cormoran Watercraft features a hydrofoil system that enables it to glide smoothly above the water, reducing drag and increasing speed. It can reach high speeds while maintaining stability and control. One of the standout features of the Cormoran is its ability to transform into different configurations, providing versatility and functionality. It can transform into a monohull, catamaran, trimaran, or even a bathing mode where the deck partially submerges into the water, creating a floating platform. The Cormoran watercraft is designed with a focus on luxury and comfort. Its interior features high-quality materials, comfortable seating, and state-of-the-art amenities. The watercraft is equipped with advanced technology, including touchscreens, integrated entertainment systems, and intelligent control systems for navigation and operation. Ed 209, also known as Enforcement Droid 209, is a fictional character from the RoboCop film series. It is a large, heavily armed law enforcement robot designed to maintain law and order, while Ed 209 is primarily depicted as a bipedal walking machine. There is no official canon information regarding an Ed 209 car or any other form of transportation. In the movies, Ed 209 is shown as a towering and formidable robot with an aggressive and heavily armed design. It is primarily used for urban pacification, crowd control, and law enforcement. However, due to its flawed programming, Ed 209 often becomes overly aggressive and prone to malfunction, leading to unintended consequences and collateral damage. 